scared. I think whatever's in this was trying to get out. Yeah, it was like already kind of ripped open when we got it, which is kind of creepy. I don't know if my father did it <laughs> or if it was just mailed this way because whenever we get a creepy doll, the vibes are off. They're a little bit scary. So I'm hoping that she wasn't trying to escape. But what I'd find interesting is that they put dog pee pads. Aren't these dog pee pads or am I crazy? I mean, they kind of look like it. We do still have some from Tumnus. They definitely are. They are. In case she had to potty, I guess. Well, I mean, at least they're thinking about that. Anyways, welcome back to Vlogs. Today, obviously, we're unboxing another creepy doll. I did a video about my twin dolls a couple weeks ago, and I found out in my research that the longer people had them, like after like 20 years had passed, the eyes of the dolls turned red, and it really freaked people out, and many of those people put the dolls in their attic. I feel like scary dolls always go in attics. That's in like every single story I do. Well, we could put all of ours in the attic. We probably should. It's like a good place to put them. They're like away from your house. They're up in the dusty area. No one cares about. But then about. that also means they could be waiting above us this whole time and break their way through the ceiling at us. No, those latches are like really good on there. Not ours. Not ours? No, there's there's no lock on it. There's no way to get into the attic except from inside of the house. But uh, yeah, no, it's uh, there's no there's no lock on it. I'd be really concerned if there was, in all honesty. <laughs> yeah, it would be a little scary. I went on to eBay to look up my twin dolls that had red eyes. I only found a handful of them, but what was interesting is that the regular dolls that eyes hadn't changed yet, they were selling for like $300, $400. The ones whose eyes had changed, $20. These people went off their hands immediately. So the one that I got was in the attic. So we're gonna open it up and see what she looks like, see how red these eyes really are, which is kind of scary. But before we do that, I want to give you guys a little hint about my Halloween costume this year because my prop is this. And if you guys are watching, comment down below if you know what movie this is from. And if you do, guess what character I'm gonna be. I feel like it's pretty obvious, but you never know. There's a few female characters in there that I might want to be, maybe even male. I've been before, so it's not but You already yeah. just spoiled what movie it's from. Oh. Just like beep it out. Yeah. <laughs> What's funny about this book, so it's Handbook for the Recently Deceased. When you open it. Isn't it like a Reader's Digest or something like that on the inside? On the inside, it's a Nicholas Sparks novel. <laughs> He's like a romance writer, so it's really funny. I opened it up and all I saw was like Reader's Digest. Um, and then the first word was my wife. <laughs> yeah, it's like a romance novel, which I find really funny. Anyways. That's a hint, so comment down below. I, I know I spoiled the movie, but Ty's gonna beep it. He's a good editor. Okay. Am I though? Yes. <laughs> I think you're just stuck with me and this is the best we get. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna remove the pee pads and hope there's no, imagine if like they just use their dog's pee pads that they're actually like using. What, used pee pads? Yeah, like they're like, oh, we can stuff these in. This will be good. Seeing as we weren't uh, greeted by an incredibly pleasant aroma, I, mean, I know they weren't used. It doesn't smell great. This doll has been sitting in the But it doesn't smell years. like dog pee. There's pee in there, isn't there? No. <laughs> the eyes are like really red. They're like pinkish. Ew, Ty, you have to get a look at this. You gotta put the camera over here. Nah, I'm good. Come here. No, I'm good. The people want it. I know the people want it, but get you, you, the you film. see, I'm scared of getting like cursed by this thing. No, Ty, you gotta come see this. Ew. So her eyes were blue before. Take that in. Yeah, that's a little terrifying. It's really terrifying. All right, you, you, you can take it out now if you want. Mother calls. She knows. She knows. Tell me again why we're doing this. Did you put yogurt in your mug? There's granola in it too, you goof. What am I gonna do? Mix it in a little tiny like cup that's like that big? We have bowls. But a mug makes it seem like there's a lot more in it. And then there's a nice little handle. Because if I hold the bowl, I'm probably gonna drop it. I don't have to explain myself okay. to you. <laughs> My decisions are mine and mine alone. Here we go. I don't know what her name is. Ew, how is it blue? How is it blue and now it's pinkish red? Oh, and their knees are like backwards. Oh. Oh, girl, look at her. Yeah. Girl. So, I don't know what her name is. Ooh. I don't know where to start. Yeah, I don't think that makes that better. She's okay. Is she though? She's okay. I'm pretty sure that might be a condition. So at least she's in a pretty dress. I think her hair stayed mostly intact. Her limbs, not so much. But, um, so did they explain why the eyes turned pink? Was it like sun exposure? That's what I thought it probably was, sun exposure. That makes the most sense, right? I don't know. Like it could also just be maybe like speaking 100% logically for yeah. a moment. 
like maybe a chemical reaction in the dyes that maybe. they use for the eyes and the plastic and stuff like that. Or if it's glass, I don't know. But speaking completely illogically, that thing's possessed. <laughs> exactly. Thanks. So maybe she was just trying to match her dress. You know? Was she though? Because I think she went a little too deep down the pure evil terrifying route. It doesn't really work with the sash. Isn't there like a phenomenon where like sometimes your eyes can be more green if you're wearing green and if you're wearing blue, your eyes are more blue. If you have those color eyes, of course, but like, isn't that a thing? I know she's not a human, but maybe she was trying to mimic us. Well, are you talking about just having like wearing a blue shirt with blue eyes? It makes your eyes look no, more like blue? No, like some people, like their eyes slightly change color depending on what they're wearing. Or is that not real? Is that I, a rumor? I'm not sure. I think that's just like illusions and stuff like illusions. that. Like complimentary oh, colors dust. and stuff. I think she's sweating more than just dust. I think that's just the evil aura around it. So is she just going in our doll pile in the basement? Yeah, we have a pile now. I went down there yesterday. I was home alone yesterday. I was trying to go down to find my grandpa's old cameras to go with my costume, which I probably just gave away everything. I went down there, I was looking through stuff and I saw the Susie Scribbles, I think it was. And she's like lying on top of a box with her like arm like this, like her body, it looks like she was hit by a truck. Did you put her down like that? You should go I, see I, her, she's I, like- I might, have, I might have tossed it. I made sure I took- Her limbs are all, I she's all worse the, than this. Yeah, I took the batteries out and probably threw it. She's like staring at me as I'm passing, like help me. No, But I was like, no, I'm looking for cameras. That's a trap. She wants to draw some more. So we have this, we also have another doll that came in the mail. It is the Tiny Tears doll. And so we're gonna unbox that in the next video probably. We're just like accumulating Dolls. Please stop. I can't stop. I can't stop because Guys, I, she has an issue. I do. And that issue is becoming my issue Sorry. as more of these keep showing up. Can you please fix that one leg? Please. Just, just, just. <laughs> Wow. I mean, that's a, that's a better position. It's impressive. Because now it's not staring into my soul. Looks like she's about to puke. She's like, it was a long way, guys. <laughs> Car sick. Box sick. Yeah. The pee pads will do that to you. Anyway, we're gonna make a crock pot dinner. Okay, should we put her away first? I think we should burn them, just to be safe. Got the fire pit outside. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Alright guys, so that concludes today's video creepy unboxing. Did you see the whole time the camera battery pack was just like, falling open. Might have been. Sorry. So yeah, stay tuned for our next video because we have yet another doll to unbox, but I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and we'll see you in our next video. Bye. It's crock pot and dinner time. <laughs> I don't even know what we're making.